All right. Uh, well, we're you know talking about state fairs. You know, typically state fair associated with fall. We're in fall. It doesn't feel like it. Could have fooled me. Yeah. It's yeah. We're at what we call fool's fall. It's already, it says it's fall, and it's not. It feels like summer. So we're gonna have temperatures near 90 in some spots today. But the good news is there is some relief. Now with that, the relief very short lived. Things kind of crank back up again and it will be nearing 90 by the end of the week once again. But a, at least the mornings are nice. A clear sky this morning. Temperatures on the cooler side. Still feeling comfortable this morning. A clear sky right now on our Emporia Camp. Quiet currently at Central Topeka and uh, 55 degrees is your current temperature. It feels like 55. Dew point in the lower 50s. Winds are calm and again, uh, in the next couple of hours, sun starts to come up. It's nice to sit on the porch in the morning or sit on the porch in the evenings. It's just the afternoons that get just a little bit warm. And temperatures right now in the upper 40s and lower 50s. 50 at Lawrence, 49 at Manhattan, 55 at Concordia, and 47 degrees currently at Clay Center. And dew points right now are in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Exactly what we expect this time of year. Drier air in place. And the winds are light and variable in direction this morning, this afternoon. We'll see that south wind 5 to 10 miles per hour, eventually becoming a north wind after a cold front pushes through later on tonight. Hanging on to a clear sky right now and zooming things out here. Area of low pressure that's off towards our east, but it's been dominating our pattern for the last week or so. This area of low pressure centered now over West Virginia, Virginia, Kentucky. This is the area of low pressure that brought us a rain chance last Tuesday. So it's been here for a while. And finally, it's now reattaching to the jet stream. That'll push towards the east. That'll kind of open things up here for this area of low pressure to kind of slide towards the south and east. That'll bring in a cold front, a glancing blow of some cooler air, just enough to cool us down for one day. And then after that, things heat back up again. Rainfall wise, last day of September. September has not been kind. We are about two inches in deficit for this month. Despite the lack of rainfall this month, it's our wettest September since 2021. So the last couple of years, this year, 2023, 2022, all have been terrible rainfall wise. And unfortunately, this year for October, starting off looks to be much the same. Hanging on to a clear sky this morning, this afternoon, lots of sunshine, not much cloud cover. And then tomorrow morning, we'll see a few clouds develop, some on and off cloud cover possibly throughout the afternoon, generally a mostly sunny sky, and then a clear sky again on Wednesday. Here comes your cold front, but beforehand, temperatures on the warmer side, upper 80s, a few lower 90s. Cold front pushes through. Uh, tomorrow morning, temperatures in the middle to upper 50s. Tomorrow afternoon, much cooler. Temperatures in the lower to middle 70s, feeling more like fall. Pretty average for this time of year. And then we heat right back up. Wednesday morning, a little bit chilly, though. A low, of 40, a low in the middle 40s for Wednesday morning. And then Wednesday afternoon, highs again climb into the lower 80s. So your seven-day forecast, it's a cool down, but it's only one day. High today, 87 degrees, lots of sunshine, mostly sunny for tomorrow. 73 is your high for tomorrow and then 82 on Wednesday, then heating back up again. 88 on Thursday. Some folks will get into the lower 90s and then cooling down again, but still hanging out in the 80s on Friday and then a warm and mild weekend. 85 on Saturday and Sunday.